I should link your Twitch on my YouTube videos if I haven't already. I do it every single time. Every single time. Bottle flip time. Really, you want to do the bottle flip thing? Uh, okay, you know what? Let's let's go back to the space center and try to do bottle flip. So the idea is you will have some sort of receptacle and it will have to have material inside it that can float around, right? And I guess we'll just have a few balls or something and we'll make it physicsless. Uh, 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 let's actually just try making a bottle. Yeah, I think we'll do that. In fact, I'm in the wrong... I'll do it in the thingy, the, the what do you call it? Here. We'll do it in this. No shout out. Or, le what? Leet, Leet Hacker 117? Leet Hacksor. So we need to... We need to make this a bottle. So I need to cut... You know what would be really nice is if I had all the hollow parts, but I don't have the hollow parts. But what we can do... Okay, so... Let me just think. We'll do like a brand adapter like that. And then... You know what? No, I'll actually need this one. Hold on. Like that. I wish there was a way to make this thing work. I'm just trying to think of what, what's the best thing to have to make this actually behave. Let's actually start with the standard remote guidance unit at the top. And then... And then we'll just have a... We'll simulate the top of the bottle with the... With an aerodynamic uh, thing. I just... I don't have anything that's hollow that goes up to a point, that's the thing. But I do have this section somewhere that we have, we have, we have, we have, we have. Right, we have these, right? So this is what the, the content of the bottle will be contained in, right? So that's really what will be the bottom and then we'll have some stuff that will move around inside that, right? So what we'll do is I'll have a whole bunch of separators and then we'll block off both ends and then the stuff will kind of flop around inside it. So let's open that up. Containers. These containers are a little big, but I like the fact that they're spherical. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Yeah, so I can have a bunch of these inside it, and then they'll just kind of blob around. So we need to have... This is the end cap. This is one possible end cap. Yeah, let's use that as an end cap. No, oh, actually, is this this is the end cap. We'll use that as the end cap, and we'll use this at the end cap on the other end. So this is going to be kind of heavy at one end and heavy at the other because I don't have anything really thin. What I will do is get rid of the mo the motor propellant in there. Ooh, ooh, I've got this tweak scale. Is there anything? Th There's nothing pyramidal shaped that's empty. That's the thing. Right? Let's just, you know, never mind the tapering at the top. Let's just try and put a bunch of crap inside this and see if it can fall around and keep the thing standing in the in the one direction. Holding tank. No, that's probably too big. Then again, I probably want something that's big enough. How about I just throw... No, I don't want to do that. I'm just trying to think what the best thing will be. Okay. A decision has been made. Right, so what I'm going to do is attach all of these things using stage separators, right? And then we'll pop them off one at a time, and then they'll be inside here floating around. Right? So we do this, this, and then I do... do oh, crap. Didn't mean to do that. I want this to be highlighted. Bingo. Right, so these things will essentially float around. Right, and that will be my liquid. Right, so we got to do these one at a time. So the, the order of this is important. So there's that one. Then there's that one. And then there's, wait a second, that one. And that's us. Right, so close this up. Right, so these things will all pop off, and now we just need, like, a, a flip motor, right? 
so we need to flip it underarm, right? So we need to lift it up and then have a thing that flips it sideways, right? That's what we're going to do. So we need some very fast and powerful engines here. So I'm going to use stage separators here. Or separatrons. That's the gizmo. So we're going to have a ton of separatrons that will induce the rotation. Mm -hmm. And then we need... Yeah, that. That will do those. So now we need a ton of these. And the other thing I should do, actually, is limit the solid fuel to about half of it, so it does it relatively quickly. Bottle flip, bottle flip, bottle flip, bottle flip, bottle flip, bottle flip. Do, 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 do. So this will provide the torque, the backwards torque that we see in all those ridiculous challenges that every single kid seems to be doing. Now we need to lift it vertically so we can have bigger engines for that. I think a pair of fleas maybe might do it. Oh, bless you, Ryan. That's a ride in the background. So here we go. I'm going to stick these on. Oh, wait, actually, I should probably stick them on here, shouldn't I? And then attach... I'm hoping the fleas will be strong enough to lift this thing off the ground. Okay, 3G. So this thing lifts off, and then... we got to do... And then these things are the last thing to fire. So let's, first of all, make sure that we release the fluid. The working fluid needs to be the first thing. We need to drop our liquids in the right place and then these will fire okay bottle flip and the, here's the thing you can't see inside this so maybe I should just do it a different way right links aren't allowed because I can't police them right that's the reason Mycroft I don't have any friendly people who will have my thing. Orion should be sleeping but he does technically have the day off tomorrow and he will be punished regardless. Okay, let's do unbreakable joints, no crash damage and see. So, we're gonna fire this. Oh, yeah, so so look, here's the inside. Let's take a look inside. Right. Oh, oh, crap. Close it. Okay, so we've lost some of our fluid. <laughs> right, so these things are all sitting around inside there. Now, uh, I fire this, and that gets us up in the air, and then I go, shoo! Okay. And it's supposed to land. I think, obviously, I have too much torque in this. So we need to make that actually land, right? Flight to the vehicle assembly building. Okay, so we need less time on this, right? So these things need to fire for a lot less. I'm going to put like 1.6 in. point six. And the other thing I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to angle this whole thing like that so that we're actually taking off sideways. And that way we will actually emulate the fact that we're kind of going sideways essentially. So then they'll cause it to backflip and if I get everything just right it should land perfecto mundo, right? Uh, do, 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 do. I mean, this is far from ideal because you can't really see inside it like you could in an actual bottle, but I think this is a good place to start. A roller, you can in fact do roller coasters in Kerbal Space Program. 
flip it onto the vehicle assembly building. I think that may be, be beyond me. I think, to be honest, this is beyond me. This is just going to be complete random luck if I can make it get right. Okay, here we go. And... So we have all that stuff sitting in there. Let's just... See, there's our liquid, right? It's in there. And then... Oh crap, apparently our order of execution there is wrong. <laughs> CHECK YOUR STAGING! I better fix this in the vehicle assembly building, otherwise I will forget it continuously. I'm not going to do a roller coaster. Okay, let's drag this down here. Save, launch. This thing is ridiculous. It is ridiculous on many levels, it is impractical, and I should be punished for even considering to think about entertaining the possibility of attempting such uh, an unorthodox task using tools which are so ill-fitted for the purpose for which they are intended. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll probably watch it from my office and we're going to... The, the Atlas V launch. There we go. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Oh, and it landed the wrong way. So we need to land it on this side. But I think that's awesome. This is this is totally going to work. Not. This is this is totally sort of kind of maybe going to work. There is no space theme beer this evening. I've got a lot of stuff to go on. I I was quite impressed. If we can get it to, oh, oh, ball, yeah, ah, ah, that's okay, that's me pretending to be transformed into an alien beastie thing. Uh, bottle flip, oh man, I have like tons of atlases and things like this. Uh, bottle flip. Okay, launch it. You think I have too much forward momentum, so... Well, so the way I, I get rid of that is I adjust things, right? No, no, the whole idea is to have the, the flow of the material inside it cancels everything out in just the right way. So here we go, once again. I'm gonna... One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. Ah, landed the wrong way. The other thing is it doesn't grip quite as well. Revert to launch. Revert to launch. You didn't see any cancellation of the angular velocity. I, we're, I'm going to give it a go, right? I, I don't know exactly whether it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a go. You think the number of sepatrons needs to be reduced? That is a bold statement there, sir. Why would I want less sepatrons? Ah, slipped out from underneath there. No, I'm not going to do active art. The only thing I should be doing here is pressing spacebar. Right? Any any mods on what? <laughs> Like, ah, oh dear. Yeah. Mycroft33, the only mod that could permit you would be me, and I do not have time to, you know, deal with chat like that. I'm sorry, I'm flying spaceships, kind of. Oh, so close! So close! Oh, that looked good. That looked good, though. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I could probably get away with less flips, right? So let's revert flight to the vehicle assembly building and get rid of one of these things, right? 
No, he, he's specifically asking about if there's mods that can permit... Uh, I think, yeah. Mycroft is asking to post stuff and I don't have the time. F5 after you decouple liquids. No, you know what? So, 420 Ninja, I believe that if I do that, the physics will mean that they end up on top of the whole thing. So, reloading when there's stuff inside a cargo bay can lead to all sorts of weird problems. Besides, it doesn't take that long. Ah, Revert! The other thing I should do, actually, right? is begin the flip as soon as this thing is uh, going up, right? So what I think I should do is I'm detaching these things, but instead what I should do is... is this, right? See that? I'm going to start the rotation beforehand and then let go at the appropriate moment. So let's do that. Uh, well, we're not going to get any unplanned rapid disassembly, largely on account of the fact that to make this tough enough to perform the bottle flip attempt, you are... you basi will be basically have to disable braking. Squish Shin, we are trying to do a Kerbal bottle flip, whereas in... Look, let's, let's open this to show you, right? We have free floating material inside the cargo bay here, right? So this stuff will kind of flip around. Uh, we're going to close the bay. So this will, this will move around, and hopefully act like a liquid that is going to mess around with my momentum, or not. Maybe it just won't work at all. Maybe it will work terribly. I think I have way too much forward momentum now. See, yeah, it is interesting the way that flies. River launch. Looks like a big headless android. Android. Aye. You, yeah, I know. I don't think we're going to get the cancellation of angular momentum. Like, and the large part is because we're not going to get vortices forming in this interior. So I think this may not be possible in Kerbal Space Program, but I'm not about to give up just yet. Land on the top. Oh! That looked pretty good. Get rid of the launch car. No! No, we need we need lateral motion. Because if you think about it, you swing it under, right? And it, it has to be going sideways. So, I, I do need to have that forward momentum. Uh, revert to vehicle assembly. Because, yeah, we do need that. I, I, I think I'm going to keep up with this. I think we're close. No, we don't. We don't. We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. Perhaps I do need smaller tanks, but I don't think having too many smaller tanks is going to cause uh, vortices inside this thing. I need smaller objects inside. Maybe I do, right? Maybe I do. Uh, I think we're going to land nose first here, and sideways, actually. Uh, revert to launch. On the same stage as the SRB. No, because I realize that if you think about the way you're going, is that you're actually applying the, the rotation like this. So the separatrons need to fire at the same time uh, as... Right, as the SRBs. In fact, they should probably fire right away, to be honest. I mean, maybe I should actually have this at a higher angle and have all this stuff. That's what I'm going to do, right? Revert to vehicle assembly. I I have realized that I'm doing this wrong. Oh, uh, 
come on, my kids, they do bottle flips all the time. It's not like it's hard. So here, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to change it up a little. Because I think what we should have is all of this stuff should be on the same stage. So we start the rotation at the same time as the engines fire. Right? But I, th I think this is going to work. I mean, maybe not work. No, I think we need more angle. Because if you think about the way that people do it, is they actually start at a much higher angle. I'm, tr I'm just trying to, you know. <laughs> the bottle flip thing, like, are you kidding? Every single kid that at the schools has attempted it at some point. It's not like it's a rare phenomenon. It's, it's, yeah, exactly. It's totally a fad right now. I don't know why it suddenly got so popular. Okay, ready? Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, did you see it was standing up for a second there? <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Okay, revert flight. So I'm going to increase the angle again. I definitely need to increase the angle now because we're we need to go sideways more. This stream, if you want me to do something that's all about expertise, it's just, um, yeah. I do that, but I generally do it when I'm thinking about things. YouTube made a lot of things popular. <laughs> a buttload of small donut tanks, that might be possible. Okay, ready? See, look at it go, and it, la oh, it landed on its top almost, which was pretty cool if you think about it. Let's try that one more time. So, yeah, I can just hold uh, the engines longer, that's the idea. I'm the quintessential hacker. What do you mean the quintess- that, that's an interesting statement. Ready? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, the flag's like, I'm gonna get on the, in on this flip! <laughs> Oh, this is ridiculous silliness. This is silliness of a level of silliness which uh, is not seen in the land of silicon silliness. This is Silicon Valley silliness. Ah, so close, so close, so close. Ready? And one. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. We're gonna get this. Uh, not, not here. Revert to. I think this is the right angle. <sighs> uh, can I call out head factor? And I, you know, sure, head factor. Hello, head factor. Okay, one, two, three, four. Look, I, I'm going to try this, just because somebody suggested it. I'm going to F9, F5. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I'm quick saving now. Ah, oh, slipped underneath there. So can I F9 it? I don't think it's going to be possible, but I'm not going to give up until I've laughed my last laugh. Actually, strictly speaking, I'm probably going to give up in the next five minutes because I really have stuff to do. Yeah, I guess everything... Let me just check. Open. Yeah, you see, by saving and reloading, you lose where those things are. Those have all, like, disappeared. Because they are technically flying. 
Okay, uh, so I've got to revert flight to vehicle assembly and do this. <laughs> how does KSP model friction? Uh, Morney Alante is asking how Kerbal Space Program models friction, and I believe my answer will be badly. It Fit Orion actually has an excellent suggestion that we should use Kerbals as the fluid. That, that is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant suggestion. Except that we'd need some way to do it. Hmm. Okay. I think, I'll, I'll think about that, but I don't think we're going to do it right now. Oh, so close. So close. Uh, revert to launch. I wonder if I could cheat. Yeah, I wonder if I could, like, cheat a ton of Kerbals into there. Mm hmm What is my opinion on the Big Bounce? Big Bounce is just, like, one of these things that we, you know... Too early. No, I, I'm keeping the fluid. I think the fluid really needs to circulate, right? Yeah, maybe we could do that. Is have like a tower, a bunch of capsules above the thing, and then have the the kerbals just fall out of that. That might be the way to do it. I think I might try that just because why not? Ah, okay. Let's let's just try doing Kerbals in there. Can I use whack it? Oh, oh, actually, could we use... Here's an idea. Could we fill it with a bunch of Whacka things? Let's just investigate. Let's just take all of this stuff out. Oh, watch this. Maybe use some smaller tanks instead of the big RCS. Or maybe, maybe I can just cheat and use uh, Whacka Kerbal items, right? I'm not sure how many Whacka Kerbals you can have floating around, though. Oh, come on. So, look, bring up Whacka Kerbal, right? And then we need to make the speed really light and this, the, the mass, I don't know what the mass would be. Oh, <laughs> that's maybe a little big. Let's make it smaller. Why is the thing like going so slowly? Let, let's just do a ton of those and then close the. <laughs> What what is up with the physics here? Did I turn on? I didn't turn on hat gravity. Why are these things floating around like that? Do do what? Does Whack a Kerbal not respect gravity anymore? There, let's put a bunch of that. Those are not heavy enough. Let's increase their mass a bit. Okay, we put a few heavier things in there. Let's see what happens, right? Because why not? Ah. Ready and... Oh! <laughs> oh, that is not what I expected would happen. They're interacting with the lift model because they're so light. That could well be what's going on because I think I have Ferrum Aerospace installed in this. Uh, <laughs> I have to see if I can exploit this for something or other. Okay, so I'm going to keep the speed down a little. 
I've invented anti-gravity. Yeah, barely. So, yeah, actually, can I just... Here's a question. I'm going to reduce the mass and just close this, right? And then just put the camera inside. Right, there should be a few of these, right? Now, again, let's see what happens. Ready? <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Come on. Look, it's it's kind of thinking it wants to land on its butt, but it, it's it's not sure about it. Come on. Look, look, look. Oh, no, it's starting to fall. Oh, oh that was so close. <laughs> Oh, that is not what I expected. <laughs> what? I just, I'm just trying to figure out, like, why does that not, why does that just keep going in a straight line? Did they make them physics-less? Plane. Oh, wow, you can have physical planes <laughs> flying through space now. Welcome to the Phantom Zone! Oh dear. Can it go? Just continuing. <laughs> okay. I, I don't think I can get anywhere, but I do kind of like this physics. I'm going to give it one more go. For flight to launch. Maybe make the mass a little bigger. Actually, maybe I should make the mass smaller because I suspect it is having a hard time moving. They're carbon dioxide fizzy bu bubbles. Yes, they're fizzy lifting drinks. Close. There we go. And... There we go. Zoom out. Let's see how it works now. Oh, okay, now it's got some flipping. And it does seem to be, like, not sure about its angular momentum now. See that? Oh, but it's going to go for the wrong side and not do it. <laughs> A bunch of them popped out. They're like, we are getting out of here. At slower speed. Okay, we can do one more go. I really need to finish this up. <laughs> the ceiling must be cleaned. Yes, that's right. Great reference to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> let's let's slow everything down. Close this. Oh, that's interesting. Wait a second. Ah, there we go. Oh! Okay, let's see where they go. Did they come in? They're just kind of floating around there. Maybe I should shoot them down that end so that they're at the bottom. That's confusing it a whole lot. I think it only has like 10 of them, and then it's just like, nope, no more. Okay, so we put a bunch in the bottom. And throttle. Oh, wow, it really went a long way out. Oh, oh, and it's flipping the other way. That is, that definitely shows there is some sort of internal structure here. Oh! <laughs> No! <laughs> Have I ever seen XKCD's What If? So, yes, every time I see the, the title, I pretty much can write the article in my head. Uh, so, yes, I've seen XKCD and pretty much, you know, yeah. Uh, 
I wonder if I can hack the... Oh, yes, because everybody wants to hack balls. Max the ma If I max the mass, it won't go anywhere. That's the problem. It ne we need to l have enough to get off the launch pad. But I think I might increase the size a bit. Right, so they actually interact a little more. Okay, one more go. <laughs> oh, come on, land, land. Oh, oh, no. Oh, yeah, come on. No, no, no. Come on. Oh, no, you want to flip. Nope. Darn it. Okay. Right, that's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I ain't doing any more. You guys, you're free. You're free to do what you want to do. You want to get loaded. You want to have a good time. <laughs> you want to just float around and stop people leaving the, the town, right? <laughs> yeah, but nobody has... Right, this is the opposite of the backyard f uh, scientists doing the bottle flip with mercury because this is the opposite. These things have essentially zero mass. <laughs> they have zero gravity. This is the anti-gravity bottle flip experiment. No! Freedom! Horrible, horrible freedom! No! Okay, bye! Bye, fare thee well, have a good one, keep fighting the good fight, and whatever, remember, always fly safe.